Using Meraki MT sensors, we get awesome visibility into our physical environment. We can easily find out what the temperature was like this morning at 7 a.m or what the humidity was like last Friday at 9 p.m. We can even look back and see the last time that a water leak was detected or the last time that a door was opened or closed. We can look back and see TVOC levels from two months ago, or we can see fine particulate matter from three days ago. And all of this is wonderful. But what if we could go one better? What if we could get notified in real time as soon as there's a water leak, or as soon as a door is opened, or as soon as the temperature passes a certain threshold? Now that would be some Meraki magic, right? By using alert profiles in the Meraki dashboard, this can become reality. Being notified in real time would help us to deal with the problem before it gets bigger. We could get a text message as soon as there's a leak in our comms room, and we could go and respond before it turns into a puddle. Our store manager could get an email as soon as a fridge has been left open too long, and they could go and deal with it to stop food being wasted. A teacher in a school could get a WebEx Teams message as soon as the humidity has crossed a certain threshold. And she could open a window before it gets any worse. In fact, why don't we have a go right now? Let's do this together. Open your dashboard and I'll see you there. So now that you're in the dashboard, the first thing you wanna do is go to the organization and the network on which you want to set up alert profiles. As you can see in this example, we're gonna pretend we are operating a supermarket and specifically a walk-in freezer where both of the sensors are placed. So let's go to alert profiles, the new sensor alert. Now this alert is gonna be signaling to the store manager to close the walk-in freezer door. So nice and simple, let's call it close the door. Let's create a schedule to make sure that the store manager is only alerted during the store operating hours. So as you can see, I've already made a schedule here called store opening hours. But let's make another one just to show you how it's done. Let's call it supermarket hours. And we're gonna change the times to 7.30 to 11 p.m. every single day. Let's press done. Now we can select this schedule. And then let's press save. Next, let's assign some sensors. So we have the walk-in freezer door sensor, which is an MT20 door open close sensor. And let's assign the walk-in freezer temperature sensor, which is an MT10 temperature and humidity sensor. Now we have to decide the actual conditions which must be met for an alert to be sent. So let's say if the temperature is above five degrees for five minutes, or if the humidity is above 65% for two minutes, or if water is detected, or if the door is open for more than 10 minutes. Now, as you can see, if any of the following conditions are met, we will get an alert. Now, all we have to do is decide who gets the notification and how they receive it. So for this example, I'm gonna type in an example email. Let's call it store manager at example supermarket.com. Very unique, very creative. As you can see, you can easily enter a phone number or a webhook if you want to use a different notification service. Let's press save. And as you can see, the close the door alert profile has been created. And just like that, you're good to go. You'll be notified as soon as any of the conditions are met. Congratulations, you've harnessed the power of empty sensors and alert profiles to manage your physical environment like never before.